Thank you to Anthony for this uh, Pro Media L bracket he sent me. I've put it on the uh, 5D Mark I because it's the most filmic camera I've got, apart from a film camera. <laughs> and I'm doing some fine art photography. And this is known as, this is a series called Post Post Office. About the demise of the red British phone box and behind the camera there is actually a post box as well I think it even says uh, GR so that's uh, it's a Georgian uh, post box you can see what I'm going for I've just taken a, a landscape shot with sort of off by about there so you get the little pointing of this little conservatory I'm sorry about the green tinge on this. I'd had the white balance set for infrared photography. On this series of photographs, I've used a LUT or Look Up Table L U T. It was used by the film industry. It's more like um, a deviation from the original colour rendition of the film or the video to give a certain look or feel to, to it. I've used Luminar AI's Athena LUT and it gives it sort of like a warm sort of um, Velvia like that's the film look to the pictures. I've taken a tight shot to keeping out this white corner edge of the actual and the white edge of that then I thought ah if I have to straighten it up you know compensate for the distortion I'll have to need a bit of leeway so I've left a bit on to a slightly wider shot just to give a bit more for cropping due to distortion Well, before I've took, taken one sort of three quarters on so you can see both sides and this one I've taken it sort of Wes Anderson style sort of straight on and as high as possible just to get that flat sort of graphic look so I hope you like it please like and subscribe I'm going to go and take another picture of another derelict foam box, which is just down the valley. Well, I'm just going around this phone box here, taking pictures of it. I'm doing it portraits first, so I've done it from that side, three quarters on, quite tight. And that with the tree there in the background, a tight one and a slightly wider one. Now, someone's unfortunately put a bin where I wanted to stand to get another shot down from the other side, looking at this way. But that's how it goes. I'll see if, can, I'll see if I can get a shot of it from there.
unfortunately there's a orange cement mixer behind it so I'll have to position the box so it masks that out oh the light's coming on now so that could should be interesting Now, should I wait a bit longer until the ambient light goes a bit more down so that the light within the box, the telephone box, is brighter in comparison? I think I'll wait just a slight longer and see what happens. I've had to um, just put up with the, uh, the cement mixer. I might clone it out later, but I've taken a straight on shot of the box. Yeah, a hero shot. Might even get a bit low down and see if uh, looking up. But then again, you just see the, there's usually a white roof, you see that's it. A white ceiling in the box, so it doesn't look all that good really. Well, I think that's it, the battery's died and the other one's quite low as well, so that's life. Well, just typical, <laughs> I got one shot off and then the uh, the batteries died. So, that'd be a lesson to me. Even though I charged, up, charged all the batteries up a long time ago, all the power dissipated now. So, I have to keep an eye on that to keep on recharging them just before I go out. So, I think it's time to go and thank you for your patience. Please like and subscribe so I can do with more of this stupid things. Oh, quite nice out here. Did you hear that? That was an owl. That was me. Do that owls. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, anyhow, night night.